nothing short of top-notch family entertainment coming your way. Now, it is all fun and games for the next one hour and 45 minutes. So don't get restless. Here, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. My name is Tokwe Olonio. Now, remember, if you're going to be on the road, you can just download the app. If you haven't, it's available on Android and iOS stores, and it allows you to watch us from anywhere in the world. Now, join the conversation. There's so much we're talking about this morning. Use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC on all social media platforms. That's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at TVC Connect. We want to know what you think. Now, there's so much happening on social media, and we want to have you actively participate. Now, straight to the highlights. What do we have for you? Abisola Buari, now a certified life coach, NLP practitioner, health marriage advocate. She helps couples navigate matrimonial challenges to enjoy a sustainable marital bliss. And her conversation on intimacy continues this morning. Adeleye Adiola Omoshalewa is the registered dietitian nutritionist in Nigeria and the managing consultant of Ask the Dietitian. She holds a degree in nutrition and dietics from Babcock University and a master's in public health from London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Next up, we have Badmos Jamiu Ayodeji, popularly known as Max J. Ayodeji is a Nigerian singer and songwriter and performer, and he will be performing his motivational song, Wake Up. Next up, we have Afro jazz singer and songwriter Nisi Ogulu, simply known as Nisi, a stylish Nigerian singer pushing the boundaries of Afro beats. Nisi penchant for storytelling in the African top context perfectly encapsulates her journey so far with her debut EP, Ignite. Now, we're going to be finding out what she's been up and about to much later in the show. I like the vibes of the song. Yeah. Morning. Morning, lady. I must say, blue looks really good on you. Oh, thank I've seen you, you in different colors, but I think it's blue. <laughs> yeah, I think it's not one of my... It's not your go-to, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think it's sky kind of blue. I actually like it. It's not even one that can pull it off, you know. Um, MM has this face that, I don't know, it doesn't matter the hair she does. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter the makeup she does. It just fits her. I don't know how she just gets away with she it. She a baby girl. I'm telling you. Are you guys all about me this morning? <laughs> well, I no, think, not really. Please praise you now. <laughs> take it, take it in full glory. I don't think we actually give ourselves enough credit. Oh, I do. Um, uh, you do, right? <laughs> but um, but sometimes I feel like we should love on ourselves more. Um, there's just so much negative news these days, you know, that yeah. you just have to take every single day as it comes and look at yourself in the mirror and say, man, I'm beautiful. Mm. Man, I'm good. I'm hot. How I'm, about you say, you know, celebrate girl, yourself. Like, yeah, I, I, your whole meal. Yes, yeah, so you have to tell that to yourself sometimes. You it. Because sometimes Let you might forget. Let me imagine how M.M. would do it. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> no, that's not how I'm going to do it. I'm wow. going to say, oh, this girl is fine. Uh, yeah, what yeah. would you say? Give it to us. <laughs> Give it to us. In, in all your glory. So a lot of people wait Have you met for me? people to... Uh, yeah. 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 A lot of people wait for people to say it to them on social media. Like there was a particular lady um, that I spoke to. She, she posted a picture of herself mm -hmm. on a particular day. And then when I, by the time I got back to her page, about two days later, she had taken the post down. And I felt the post was really nice. Mm -hmm. But when I scrolled past it, I didn't like it. I didn't press the heart. Mm -hmm. Right? And, okay, she took it down. And I was like, ah, that picture, I wanted to use it because I wanted to use it for a profile. I wanted to screenshot it. She was like, ah, but you didn't like it, no. That's so I didn't think it was fine. So I took it down. I I'm like, okay, well, now while we're thinking of what is fine, let's mm. find out if the weather is fine in Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for the news update right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Many people are feared dead in Maiduguri, the Borno state capital, as gunshots and explosions were heard near the Gumari area of the state. Some sources say explosions were also heard in the Mairi area, a student's village near the University of Maiduguri. Suspected Boko Haram terrorists have attempted to infiltrate the state capital through Kaleri village when the civilian JTF repelled the attack. The military is said to have deployed gun trucks to the area, as earlier reports indicated that worshippers in a mosque lay on the street called uh, Laimbori may have been 
killed. A source at the University of Maiduguri Teaching Hospital disclosed to TVC News that 15 people who sustained various degrees of injuries were brought to the accident and emergency unit and are currently receiving treatment. Residents who earlier fled their homes for safety have started returning following the deployment of additional security personnel to the areas. The attack in Maiduguri is coming a day on a day troops successfully recovered Marte, a local government in Borno State, killing scores of ISWAP Boko Haram terrorists who laid siege in that area for some days. This victory comes barely two days after the Chief of Army Staff, Major General Atahiru Ibrahim, gave a 48-hour ultimatum for troops to recapture Marte town, which has been in the control of terrorists for almost a week. A military officer who confirmed the incident noted that the troops successfully and safely detonated series of IEDs laced along the routes and uh, finally dominated the general area. According to the troops, they are in control of New Marte since 3 p.m. yesterday. President Mohamedou Buhari has instructed a proper coordination of the national strategy on cybersecurity with a new approach focusing on exploring the internet for economic growth opportunities, enhancement of knowledge and mitigation of crime. The president who spoke on Monday at the launch of the National Cybersecurity Policy and Strategy as NCPS 2021 held at the Aso Rock Presidential Villa Abuja also observed that the growth and development of the internet has caused a rise in threats posed by cyber criminals, online financial fraudsters and cyber terrorists, who he said are causing apprehension in the country. The president said Nigeria is blessed with a young and vibrant population, which has the potential to exploit the benefits of the current internet revolution to enhance the nation's economic progression and improve our national security. The Lagos State Judicial Panel on Restitution for Victims of SARS-related Abuses and Other Matters has summoned the Inspector General of Police, IGP Mohamed Adamu, to appear before it over a case of alleged police brutality and aggravated assault on a 76-year-old pensioner, Adewanle Adewi, who is now bedridden, uh, Prince Adewi told the panel through his lawyer, Debo Adeleke, how the police allegedly forcefully took over and destroyed his vast land on December 17th, uh, 2013, measuring six hectares, which is about 26 acres, at Mowo village near Badagri in Lagos. Valued at over 800 million naira, he said the police also failed to heed the recommendation of the Citizens Mediation Center in 2016. Welcome back. It's about time for us to take a quick look at what's happening on the covers of the newspapers this morning. And we're going to start with the Punch newspaper, which has this major headline. It says, the NGF considers talks with bandits, others. We may have to engage dialogue besides security agencies' efforts, says Fayemi. Uh, Kagara abductor with rocket propelled grenade missile uh, only federal, uh, federal government can license, uh, says Rep. Right at the top of the page here, it says the diesel price soars to 250 naira per liter. Uh, business is grown. Uh, it also says here $2.6 billion pipeline project. Reps grill NMPC contractors, summum BPP. Police misconduct responsible for NSAS protests, says XIG. Uh, restructuring can't be realized through political process, says the AFDB president. Uh, let's see. We also have this one. Uh, 13 killed as rockets hit Maiduguri, NAF uh, defends city. Ondo declares holiday as Akiridolu's inauguration holds today. Uh, Ogun threatens clampdown on forest reserves, illegal occupants. And uh, it says here, rise in cyber terrorism, online fraud, hate speeches, disturbing, says Buhari. And that's what we have on the cover of The Punch. 
We also have the Nation newspaper here with us this morning. And the major headline goes like this. It says, Labor rejects plan to allow negotiation of wage by states. A House bill to remove workers' pay from exclusive list passes second reading. Right at the top here, it says, uh, Service Chiefs, we will secure Nigeria. Uh, Olonishaki and uh, Buratai cleared a decision on cryptocurrency in our interest, says Imefiele. And uh, it also says here, House probes $2.6 billion AKK gas contract for content violation. Just below the masthead here, it says gunmen kill policemen, loot armory in station attack. Ogun signs $300 million deal. Page 5 has more on that. And uh, that's what we have on the cover of the Nation newspaper. We have the Daily Sun newspaper here with us as well. It says scores killed injured as Boko Haram bombs four locations in Maiduguri. Commotion as residents are evacuated. Troops reclaim Marte from insurgents clear landmines. Just beside the masthead there, it says, Our Papa Gridlock, unregistered trucks will be impounded from February 27th, says the NPA MD. Meanwhile, Songolu reacts, uh, rather reads Riot Act to drivers, truck owners, vows to arrest, prosecute traffic violators. Let's see what else we have here. Tension in Abia as hoodlums raise three police stations, kill four officers. State government offers one millionaire for information on looted police arms, bans al Qaeda keke operation from 7 p.m. That's what we have on the cover of the Daily Sun. We have the Guardian newspaper with us as well. Uh, it says here uh, that the federal government passes new 10 trillion naira debt to unborn Nigerians. And it says here, undermined CBN Act seeks to restructure overdrafts public debt stock to surpass 42 trillion naira. Posterity ill prepared for mounting liabilities, says Ekpo. Just beneath the masthead here, it says AFDB president backs restructuring canvases United States of Nigeria and uh, court declares suspension of O&O's AGM unconstitutional. Uh, gunmen killed three, kidnapped nine women in Katsina. Police rescue 81-year-old monarch from kidnappers in Calabar. And uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Senate defies protests, confirms ex-service chiefs as envoys. Lawan rejects petition against nominees. Envoy uh, Keshi says non-career envoys weakening diplomatic mission. And uh, profs fault action as appointment can't stop ICC probe, according to PDP. And that's what we have on the cover of The Guardian. Those are the papers we have with us this morning. We are, let's see, do we have one more? Okay, I think we do, we do. We have, um, we have the Vanguard newspaper with us now. Uh, it says here, banditry designed to destroy Nigeria, according to governors, as Southwest governors vow to fight criminality with every legal means. Page 10 has more on that. It also says here, Herdsmen, farmers now carry AK-47, Northern Governor's Lament. It says, farmers, herders' crisis would have been averted if livestock plan was implemented. Meanwhile, PDP intervenes in Autumn Mohammed's rift over herdsmen bearing AK-47 rifles. It says here, Oando's shareholder wins court case against SEC. It also says here on the Apapa gridlock issue, NPA Lagos to impound trucks without call-up slips. And that's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. All right, we have to take a quick look at some of the facts that you might find interesting. All right, so it's another Wonder Woman Wednesday, and there's been so much that happened over the past week that started trending. But there was something MM posted um, some days ago on our group and uh, it was really interesting. We, we started, people started talking about it, you know, behind the scenes. I don't know if it trended as much as we talked about yeah, it. Yeah, I know there was a particular video that trended yeah. um, over the weekend mm. where um, a guy walked into a restaurant mm. 
he met uh, he met his girlfriend mm. with another um, on a date with another man mm. and then he I think he took her bones he took all of the things he bought for her basically yeah you know and that's video trended I drew, but then I'm mm. like why would anyone be recording yeah it looked staged like so you, you know like he was or like he was well. looking to catch her with mm. another person mm. which I don't know it just looked so I somehow think, I for think, me you know now yeah people are very with their phones they're very, yeah. they're very quick with the phones mm. so it was just more of a, a case of someone was watching that's why if you saw the video it wasn't even close it wasn't it wasn't a close it wasn't shot wasn't a close so shot the person was really far mm. and the person must have been amused at the fact mm. that ah, what's going on what's going yeah. on and uh, the person is recording i'm sure the person didn't even expect that mm. it would take the hair take the shoe take yeah the right like that was a lot there were a lot of people commenting in in the video mm. you could hear ah it's not good now ah why now koda now you know those kind of things mm -hmm. But nobody intervened. Now, what should they okay, have done? Yeah, nobody could really do anything. <laughs> but wait, the video, based on what Emma was saying earlier, the video saw the guy walking and in. Walk into yeah. the shot. So it looked like, yeah. yes, so it actually it saw actually, him walk in. Yes. So it looked like it was, mm -hmm. was so pre-planned. No, exactly. Maybe the person that, this, maybe, maybe yeah. the person that recorded it. It was a friend knows, of, the, yeah, of the guy. Of the guy so they like, already know yeah. the situation and yeah. then he was just, all yeah, so he just wanted to do was record of, it. So more of a case of telling the guy that yeah. I've been seeing this babe. Yeah. yeah. This so I guess, guess it was the one maybe Maybe it's even the person that called the guy that oh, your baby is here. Come and see your babe. I was a little Savage. concerned also about the fact that the guy sitting <clears throat> with her just got up and walked away. What should they have done? Beats wow. The, beats the guy. No, it wasn't. It was, it's a very awkward situation. Nobody ever really you knows. Would want to be, you what? would want to be distant from that kind of thing. Distant from that kind yeah, of drama. Because Nigeria is not a place where they are recording everything. Everything, You right? don't want to be the guy. Especially ah. if, what if he's married? The guy, right? Oh, <laughs> goodness. Yeah. You don't, no so you would have caught in that, that kind, of, kind of crossfire, mm -hmm. you know, where, you know, as yeah. another, at, exactly, so if you're not, even, you're not sure mm, exactly. about this person that mm -hmm. you're with, mm. I yeah. think it's just best to just take yourself away from that But there situation. was a comment that I saw uh, by, it's, it's by a celebrity, actually. Mm. I, I'll probably try and find it later. But the issue now is, if she had been the one to buy all those things for herself, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have any right to take all these things yeah. from her now. Yeah, but the, what's baby wrong, girl what's life wrong can with... be you funding your own baby girl life. Not yeah, some guy. There's, there's nobody that's going to come and take my own TT. week from me now. Like, my own shoe. You no, know, let's come My on, own come phone. On, Hello. Come on. Excuse me. I mean, Valen let's not forget that Valentine's Day was just around the corner. Mm -hmm. And beg. a lot of men were buying the gifts for, for their yeah, you know, spouses, for yeah. their girlfriends. Right. There is actually nothing wrong in buying gifts. I mm -hmm. One of my love language is, exactly. is love gifts. Language. Yes. No, one of my love language is gifts. But so <laughs> yes, gifting. and I think it's petty. Yes, he was. What he petty. did was really petty. Mm -hmm. Like you've already gifted her these things, regardless mm -hmm. of. Yeah. So like my husband always say, mm -hmm. for, um, people always tend to you know um, channel or what um, channel their aggression mm -hmm. or how they their emotions mm -hmm. on this person. Mm -hmm. Try to fix the mm -hmm. issue. Yeah, it's e there is an, an issue. issue. Mm -hmm. Fix it first. It doesn't mean that you hate this person. It just means that you hate what this person did. So it really doesn't take away from, I mean. Yeah, sure. Buy your own bone straight, buy your own bag, your Let's own shoe, your own, break, your own hair. Nine, Nobody nine, will come and take it from me. No matter the feminism. Hello. We will be right back, guys. <laughs> Stay with <laughs> us. <laughs> Welcome back. You're on to Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, with me in the kitchen this morning is Chef Abim Bola. And this morning, we are making chicken and pasta stir fry. Yes? Yes, please. Great. Now, let's talk about the ingredients we're working with. Okay. Uh, we're going to make it your spaghetti, um, blended pepper, blended tomato pepper, okay. granite oil, vegetable oil, yeah. um, curry and thyme, yeah. seasoning. This is garlic, mm -hmm. tomato paste, yeah. and we have the vegetables here. Yeah, I see um, that you have quite a lot of vegetables. We have red bell peppers, green bell peppers, mm -hmm. carrots, onions, and cabbage. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have our, the key ingredient here, which is our chicken that you're the boning. And on your screen right there yeah. are the ingredients. So if you're watching, go and get your pen and paper and scribble down those ingredients so that you don't miss out on this morning's breakfast yes um so tell us what okay. you're doing right now 
Yes, this is um, because I had to get breast chicken, mm. as in fillet, chicken fillet. But I didn't see it on time because I came back from work late. Okay. So I have to buy this then. I'm deboning it myself now. Okay. Yes, please. All right. So when you're done deboning, what yeah. do we do next? Yes, I'm going... The, the water is on fire already. Okay. So I'm going to pour it in the spaghetti. Okay. Then add some little oil in it and salt. Okay. Yes. Then I'll uh, leave it to boil for some time. Okay. Yeah. And then when our spaghetti is ready... So at what point do we start to work on the stir fry? Yes, it's when the spaghetti is a bit soft, not okay. too soft. Then we pour it out, we refresh it. Okay. Then we put the uh, pot on fire back, start with our stir fry. At first, you pour your granite oil. Mm. Then you pour your onions. Okay. So everything, you have to shred everything. The, all the vegetables need to be shred because spaghetti too is long. Okay. Yes. So everything needs to be shredded. I'm shredding this chicken yeah. now. Yes. So, when so, just in case you don't understand what she means by shredding, basically, it's um, cutting them. So, we're going to cut the vegetables in long strips. You know, those long strips? Yes. That's how we're going to chop our vegetables this morning. If you're just joining us, people, with me in the kitchen, it's Chef Abimbola, and we are making chicken and pasta stir fry. Um, yes, if you know me, you know that I love pasta. I'm a love of pasta. I love it, love it, love it so much. And... Um, I'm pretty excited about this morning's breakfast. So right now we're waiting for our water to cook up a little and then we'll toss in our spaghetti. And um, okay, it's making progress so far. And um, so you mentioned that we're going to add oil into our pasta. Yes, What's sir. the essence of adding the oil? Yes, yeah, so that to make it stick. Yeah. So All right. Great stuff happening here in the kitchen and on the show. Right now, we'll have to take a quick break, right? Yes, and um, yeah, Chronicles of a Foodie up next. Welcome back. Now it's about time for us to take our relationship segment right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Today we have Abisola Bwari. Now she is a certified life coach, NLP practitioner, health marriage advocate, and she helps couples navigate matrimonial challenges to enjoy a sustainable marital bliss. Now our continued, our continued conversation on intimacy goes forward today, uh, especially with this particular topic, intimacy postpartum. So after a new baby, how do we rekindle intimacy with our partners in our relationships? Uh, that's a big one. Not a lot of people like to talk about this one, but I know Abisola is going to help us break it down. So for people that don't understand or that have no idea, uh, there have been um, so many cases of challenges rekindling intimacy as soon as there's a new baby. Why do you think that is? Uh, there are a lot of reasons. There are a lot of reasons. Uh, first, I, I think it's all about mindset. Mm -hmm. Then for certain couples, um, some men, they get disconnected when they start seeing um, the house taking a change. Mm -hmm. You know, a house that is just for two persons. Mm -hmm. Now there's a new addition. Mm -hmm. You see diaper here. Mm -hmm. You see feeding bottles. Mm -hmm. like, and you know, baby comes with this smell. I love, I, I love that <laughs> smell. <laughs> anyway, but it's a put off for some people. So when, they, when a man comes home and see everywhere with babies, baby, baby, mm -hmm. he just gets um, mm -hmm. disconnected from that environment. Mm -hmm. And for the woman, I feel like uh, there's a kind of burden, a pressure on her mm -hmm. to try to <coughs> impress and be good, be good, be available for her husband. Mm -hmm. So she, she goes all about getting back into shape on time, mm -hmm. like my body, my body, my body. Mm -hmm. So what I'll say is, first thing, you have to love yourself and accept your new body. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you can't give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. When the baby comes, like, it's a, it's a big deal to have a baby. Mm. So your new body, embrace it, love it, and take care of yourself. Like, just watch um, that transitioning and enjoy the process. Okay, now I like that word process. Uh, because a lot of women want to have that post-baby body and my snap body back. Uh, it took nine months for the body to get like that, it's not going to happen overnight that you're going to snap back. That's the first thing. Um, I've seen so many articles where the first thing they say is that, hey, mommy, you are beautiful, you know. Um, but then for a lot of women, to connect intimately is a mental thing. 
And at that point, when the new baby comes in, their minds are not on that guy. Oh. <laughs> their mind is on that baby. That baby is about to cry for food. They're about to cry because of diapers or is about to cry for something or the other. Um, so mentally speaking, the woman has detached. So how can she begin to reconnect with, with her man? Uh, you see, like, we women, <laughs> when mm. we have a new addition, a baby, even if you have previous children, mm. four or five, mm. no matter the number, the new addition, your attention will be shifted to that baby. Mm. So, like, uh, for her to, to be on the track with her spouse, I think they need to welcome passion with compassion. Mm. Like, and what I mean here is she should not um, feel like her husband is too demanding okay. for sex. Mm. And the husband too should be compassionate enough to know that her desire will decrease. Mm. So when they are compassionate about each other, then she will feel at ease and um, the man too will, will be calm and they will enjoy themselves. Mm. Also, I'll say that they should not eradicate two, two some names. Mm. They've, been, they've been too proud to bring in the baby. So what they've been doing all along should not just be swept under the carpet. Okay. And um, we, when we talk about intimacy, it's not all about the big deal, going for a date night, a weekend escapade and all. All those little acts of kindness go a long way, okay. like stealing kisses, that part. Um, uh, you mean uh, like a pat on the back? Uh, pat on the back, mm -hmm. like when she's doing something, when you're going on in the house, you don't, you don't have to prepare. Like everybody believes that when we talk about intimacy, it's something that is a game that okay. you have to prepare for. Mm -hmm. No, it's not about that. Mm -hmm. You should make sure that you are connected at all times. Then the, they, should, they should just take away role play in the house. Like the woman has to do the chores, mm. the man has to go out and make money. If the mm. woman wants to go out and make money, mm. it's fine. Like mm. this is 2021. Mm. Anybody can go out and make money. Mm. Then there should be um, a teamwork. Mm. Like mm. couples are teammates. There should be a teamwork between them. Mm. Doing our chores shouldn't be um, subjected so to I hear one you person. Saying, I hear you saying remove some of those stressors from the woman, you know, because she's probably been focus on trying to make sure she does the chores, looks after the baby, still looks fine and sexy, and then also still looks after the man. Exactly. But I wanted to mention as quickly as possible, let's see if we can touch on people that always go for these herbal um, enhancements and things like that. There's some things that people sell now for <laughs> hundreds of thousands of naira. They say, don't worry, drink it. Uh, you know, everything will be all right. You'll reconnect. Your opinion in just very few words on all those uh, herbal In my own opinion, like I've had clients that work with it ended in premium tears. Mm. Um, I had a client that during the lockdown she was like she was devastated. She wanted to mm. um, rekindle her intimacy, yeah. and she played with me that she needed me to take delivery of this product. Okay. I said, okay, no, no problem. I gave her my dad's house mm. address. Mm -hmm. And the day that product was delivered, my younger sister just mm. called me, hello, mm -hmm. do you want to kill your husband? So you are using this thing too. I oh, said, wow. no, it's for a client. <laughs> when um, she came, to, when she went to pee it up, she opened it, number one, she was duped. Okay. <laughs> That's like my own you opinion. You know what? We have to, I really wish we could, could continue this story, but we will take it to social media so you can connect with us. Hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. MM is standing by in the kitchen with the chef. Abu Salam, thank you. Thank you, as always. Thank you very much, Titi. Yes, welcome back to the kitchen, guys. With me this morning is Chef Abisola. Abimbola. Sorry, Chef Abimbola. <laughs> I mistook her name for the relationship experts. Okay, sorry about that. Chef Abimbola is in the kitchen with me this morning. And we are making pasta and chicken stir fry. Yes, uh, things are steaming up right here in the kitchen, guys. Let's talk about the ingredients before we move on to where we at, Abimbola. Okay. Yes, this is vegetable, this is carrots. Okay. The spaghetti is on the fire mm. because I want it to steam a bit, mm. a bit softer. I do you not want too it to soft. be soft? Yes, please, okay. but not too soft. Okay. Yes. Then after that, I'll pour it out. And then? Then we'll start the stir fry. Okay. Please. All right, so let's talk about the ingredients we're working with. I'll run through it quickly. Um, for our stir fry, 
We are making, okay, so uh, we're going to start, start the stir fry in a bit. Let me get the pan we're going to use. So the ingredients we're using for our stir fry is basically, we have our blended tomatoes and pepper. We have our onions. We have our carrots. We have our shredded beef over there. We have our tomato paste, cabbage, red, red and green bell peppers. We have our seasoning cubes, curry, thyme, um, vegetable oil. Yeah, basically that's it. And of course, we have our pasta, which is cooking already. So right now I'm going to heat up our pan so that we can start to work on our stir fry. All right. Uh, I hope you didn't miss out on the ingredient because there it is on your screen. Look at that beautiful spread. Mm -hmm. I so, yes, uh, all right. So right now we're just gonna wait for the pan to heat up and um, all of this is basically going into the pan, right? Yes, please. All right, so while we wait for our pan to heat up, let's explain the process for our stir fry so that our okay. viewers can understand and be a part of the process for the cooking. Yeah, yeah. I want the pan to heat up a okay. bit. Okay, and then, then once that's heated, what's yeah. next, what's next? We are going what's to pour next? the, in the granite oil. Okay. So then, the onion we go in, yeah. stir fry it a bit, then mm. pour the garlic, garlic okay. yes, then stir fry it also a bit. Then after that, we are going to pour the tomato paste in, yes, because it has sauté, now you need to fry it Properly. very well, yeah. yes, please. Then we now put in the fresh tomato and the fresh pepper that is already blended, okay, yes. Then after that, we are going to leave it for some time to, to cook, yes, and so. then afterwards, we tossing our vegetables that's our green yeah um green red and um, bell peppers and cabbage um right and then when our stir fry is ready okay. what's next mm, then we pour in the spaghetti okay yes please. and then mix and it all every, in. everything yeah. yeah and then breakfast is ready and will be served uh nice stuff happening here in the kitchen guys i hope you're part of what's going on here well, you could also catch, you know, previous episodes, you know, of our kitchen segments on our YouTube page at TVC Connect. Um, use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria if you want to, you know, catch on, you know, if you want to ask questions, if you want to learn more or you want to be a part of the show. And we have to take a break now. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Now, if the first hour wasn't magical, I guess there's even a bigger name to call it then. Welcome back, and it's the second lap of your number one breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria. Now, sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but you've actually been planted. Planted for amazing things. And talking about amazing things, we still have 45 minutes left, and we promise that every single minute would keep you on your seat. A fair warning though, we might be extremely addictive and we operate on a different spectrum. Now talking about spectrums, I have a colorful spectrum in the kitchen with my ego you boom, MM. MM, how are you doing and how is our chef? Okay, I can't get used to that name, <laughs> I can't, I promise you. Anyways, um, things are cooking up quickly Okay. and well, Amazingly as well. Here in oh, the yeah. kitchen, Chef Abimbola is getting to work. And right now we are making our stir fry. Okay. Look at this. I mean, I really wish, I mean, look at this, look Ooh. at this, look at this. It's coming so, you know, beautifully well. All of those aromas are beginning to, you know, work itself out. So right now we are stirring, we are frying our onions and our chicken. And very soon we are going to toss in our tomato paste okay. and our blended tomatoes and pepper in there so we're just going to wait for our chicken to cook up a bit as oh. you can see we've already chopped them into yeah. um tiny stripes okay oh, tiny strips sorry yeah yeah and um yeah so it's coming well so far so good all right asam pete i'm just going to be calling you all the names <laughs> <laughs> i trust that the kitchen is going to be cooking great stuff now we go the extra mile you should go the extra mile with us today it's never crowded there and stay with us through this edition of our Wonder Woman Wednesday. Now there's so much to come on the show, so we won't take so much of your time. My name is Tokwe Oloni. Now remember, you can stream this show live if you have to leave your house. All you have to do is um, use our website, tvcentertainment.tv, or you can carry us with your mobile device. Just download our app. It's available on Android and iOS stores, and it allows you to watch us from anywhere in the world. Now I, myself, TT and MM have been talking about interesting things. Go on social 
media, TVC Connect, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Join the conversation, use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria and be part of the conversation. We're definitely going to be taking your comments. Now, what do we have for you in the next 45 minutes? Adeleye Adeola Omo Shaliwa, a registered dietitian, nutritionist in Nigeria, and the managing consultant of Ask the Dietitian. She holds a degree in nutrition and dietics from Babcock University and a master's in public health from London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Next up, we have Badmos Jamil Ayodeji, popularly known as Max J. Now, he is a Nigerian singer and songwriter and a performer, and he will be performing his motivational song, Wake Up. Up. Also, we will be joined by Afro jazz singer and songwriter Nisi Ogulu, simply known as Nisi. She is a stylish Nigerian singer pushing the boundaries of Afro beats. Nisi's penchant for storytelling in African context perfectly encapsulates her journey so far with her debut EP, Ignite. Now, we will be finding out what she has been up to later on in the show. Now, there is yeah. so much I want us to talk about, mm -hmm. but there's still some facts that we need to find, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you would be amazed about this information. Let's see facts finding. It's time for a news update right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Many people are feared dead in Maiduguri, the Borno state capital, as gunshots and explosions were heard near the Gomari area of the state. Some sources say explosions were also heard in Mairi area, a student's village near the University of Maiduguri. Suspected Boko Haram terrorists have attempted to infiltrate into the state capital through Kaleri village in the evening when the civilian JTF repelled the attack. The military is said to have deployed gun trucks to the area as earlier reports indicated that worshippers in a mosque on the street called Lanibori may have been killed. A source at the University of Maiduguri Teaching Hospital disclosed to TVC News that 15 people who were sustained or rather who had sustained various degrees of injuries were brought to the accident. And, and emergency unit, uh, and they are currently receiving treatment. Residents who earlier fled their homes for safety have started returning following the deployment of additional security personnel to the areas. The attack in Maiduguri is coming on a day. Troops successfully recovered Marte, a local government in Borno State, killing scores of ISWAP Boko Haram terrorists who laid siege in that area for some days. This victory comes barely two days after the Chief of Army Staff, Major General Atahiru Ibrahim, gave a 48-hour ultimatum for troops to recapture Marte town, which has been in control of the terrorists for almost a week. A military officer who confirmed the incident noted that the troops successfully and safely detonated series of IEDs laced along the routes and finally dominated the general area. According to the troops, uh, according to them, the troops are in control of New Marte since 3 p.m. yesterday. Uh, Mohamedou Buhari has instructed a proper coordination of the national strategy on cybersecurity with a new approach focusing on exploring the internet for economic growth opportunities, enhancement of knowledge and mitigation of crime. The president, who spoke on Monday at the launch of the National Cybersecurity Policy and Strategy, NCPS 2021, held at the Asherok Presidential Villa in Abuja. Now, he, uh, it was also observed that the growth and development of the internet has caused a rise in the threats caused by cyber criminals, uh, online financial fraudsters, and cyber terrorists who he said are causing apprehension in the country. The president said Nigeria is blessed with a young and vibrant population which has the potential to exploit the benefits of the current internet revolution to enhance the nation's economic progression and improve our national security. Welcome back, and now for our music performance, we have Badmos Jamiu Ayodeji, popularly known as Max J. He is a Nigerian singer and songwriter and performer, and he will be performing his motivational song, Wake Up. Good morning, Max J. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good so morning. Tell, tell us what inspired the song, Wake Up. 
Wake Up is a motivational song, like back in the days of school. And uh, let me say, it's just a song for every young Nigerian and hold. Like, you really right. have to wake up and, you know. Uh, okay, then. All right, let's have you perform for us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Max J, for that wonderful one. Wake up. Yes, we're waking up to some healthy nutrition this morning. And Adele Adiola Omoshaliwa is a registered dietitian nutritionist in Nigeria and a managing consultant of Axe the Dietitian. She holds a degree BSc in nutrition and dietetics from Babcock University and a master's in public health from London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And this morning we will be talking about nutrition and cancer. Hey, 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 good morning. Good morning. All right, so let's get right to it. What is the role of diet in preventing cancer? Um, so certain foods have ability to prevent different types of cancer. Okay. And top on the table is fruits and vegetables. And fruits that are very colorful, mm. you, your oranges, your apples, your bananas, and your vegetables in any form. So vegetables not limited to only carrots and cabbages. It also includes the green leafy vegetables. Okay. And these foods, research has proven that when you have at least four servings in a day, and four serving means one serving of fruits is just one apple, or one small banana and one serving of vegetables is like one cup of vegetable. Okay. So if you have like four servings in a day, research has shown that you can prevent cancer up to 50%. Hmm. Interesting. Ha. Yes. Ah. Well, now let's talk about those particular fruits. Um, I know you mentioned um, carrots and um, a few of them, but let's, it, would, it would be nice for you to list them out so that those watching could you know know and then look out for them so we have carrots we have cabbages we have green vegetables like ugu. shoko ugu okay. Tete. Tete. okay green the green one they call green okay so what those are for are 
He had used shoko to make a foil okay, roll. Okay, no, I mean, sorry, I was talking, a wedu, a wedu. Yes, yeah, a wedu okay. as well, an okra. An okra, oh, yes. okay, great. Now, let's talk about foods that influence cancer. I mean, there are so many of them around us. I mean, we eat some of these things every single day. Now, let's mention some of them. Um, number one um, food that can influence cancer are processed meats. And processed meats includes things like hot dogs, oh, yeah. canned meats, mm -hmm. um, sausages, bacon, ham. Ham, oh, wow, interesting. Yes. All right. Um, can you talk about what roles they play? And are you saying that we should cut them out completely or we should eat them in certain proportions? So the rule is that for each 50 gram you eat, that mm -hmm. is like one sausage, mm -hmm. every day can increase someone's risk of colon cancer. Mm. So you shouldn't eat it every day. Some okay. people have it as like their breakfast, breakfast yes, every, every day. Every single day. Yes, yeah, so maybe once a week or twice a month is a safe limit, but not every day and not every other day. All right. Now that you have mentioned canned meats and processed meats, the thought suya came to mind. A lot of people would really do not know that, you know, eating suya could actually expose you to the risk of cancer. Yes. So do you mind explaining um, that? So the problem with suya is the way it's processed. Mm -hmm. When it's put on fire, and some of the fat drops, drops into, into the fire. Okay. The mixture of the smoke and the fat produces substances that when you eat it with the suya, can influence cancer risk. Okay, now that we have talked about, you know, foods that prevent cancer and that influence cancer, now let's talk about foods or fruits that could also help to, you know, minimize the risk of getting cancer. I mean, not, not the risk, I mean, for example, if you're a cancer patient, yes. are there certain foods that you can take, you know, that would, would aid the treatments? Yes, there are. Okay. And it includes all fruits. Okay. Every single fruit. Every fruit. fruit. Yes. Okay. From watermelons to bananas to sour soap, which mm, um, sour soap is quite yeah, true. yeah which um, research Has shows shown. that mm. it can help. Not that it cures cancer, cancer but okay. it can help. It can form a part of a good diet. Okay. Then we also have bananas. We have poppers. All fruits can be taken to yes. aid the treatment yes. of cancer. All right, fantastic. It's um, huh, when it comes to dieting. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't believe, you can, you, one cannot just limit yourself to taking just fruits. I mean, there must be certain foods as well that you could also incorporate in your diet. For example, whole grains. Are there other foods that, you know, um, you could also add to your diet in that regard? Yes. So if you are trying to prevent cancer, yeah. you are advised to eat less refined foods. And refined foods, refined. Okay, what so context? refined foods means foods that have been taken out of their natural states. Okay. So for example, we have things like white flour. White flour. White okay. flour, the normal flour that we have. Mm -hmm. Whole wheat flour is a better option. But in the case that you are not, you don't have access to whole wheat flour, you shouldn't take too much okay. of refined food. So you can do more whole grains. If you are able to have more whole grain spaghetti, you are able to have more whole grain rice, okay. like your um, brown rice, if you have access to it. Okay. But if you don't have access to it, you should do less of the refined ones. Okay. Yes. The refined ones. All right. Fantastic. Um, this has been an interesting conversation so far. Thank you very much. Okay. So it's important that when you go shopping for your food items, you look out for whole grain foods. You know, and the pack is actually always stated there. And if you want to join the conversation, you, I mean, you want to also, you know, have access or you have questions to ask um, the dietitian here, you could um, send your comments to our social media platforms at Team PC Connect, and I'm sure um, she'll be waiting to, you know, respond to all of them. And that's it for now. There's still so much more, guys. Stay with us. Welcome back. Now it's about time for us to take our final guest for today's show. And today we have. Ruth in the building. Now she yes. is the CEO of Do or Die Entertainment. Mm -hmm. She's had an amazing journey. She started doing this in 2016 and since then it's been an incredible story. I, I have to say a big warm welcome to you. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you very Good much morning. for having me. Good morning. I love your hair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, Thank thanks you. for making it. Now um, 
we read through your profile. It says you're Ghanaian American. Yes. yes. Okay. So, so before we start, mm. do you agree that Nigerian jollof <laughs> is better than Ghanaian jollof? Okay. Yeah, Nigeria. Know, yeah, Nigeria. <laughs> I know, but you know, all jollof, I they're both all great. So oh. Everybody, and all the jollofs are good. So <laughs> I like them both. <laughs> A diplomatic answer. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I mean, they both have their own, you know, different Flavors, flavor, yeah. but they all have their own unique taste. So, yeah, I, 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 I asked um, one key yesterday. <laughs> that's oh, yeah. that's a Ghanaian food. Yeah. Oh, watche. Watche. Yes, watche. Yes, 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 it's like rice and beans. Beans, yeah. Yes, really yes. nice. Really. Nice. <laughs> really? But yes. let's talk about you. Right. Do or die entertainment. Yes. Now, what inspired that? Well, I grew up, when I grew up, my parents weren't really too fond of me going into the entertainment. Okay. So um, I went to school, I did business, oh. but then I was like, oh, that's not really what I want to do. So I mm -hmm. went ahead and I still did my nursing degree. Oh. So I'm a nurse professionally, so I was doing oh. the whole nursing thing, but every day I was going to work, it was like, you know, something in me wasn't just mm -hmm. agreeing with that. Mm -hmm. So it just stuck in my mind, like, this is do or die. Like, mm -hmm. it's either you're going to do what you want to do or mm -hmm. it's just going to die. Yeah. So do or die is pretty much like, Every dream you have, mm. if you don't do it, if mm. you don't push it, it's dying slowly. So yeah. that's how the whole do or die idea came up. So okay. I just went ahead, I did it. So my dream don't die. <laughs> Amen yes, to that. Yes. Yeah. So, but it's, it's a, a really um, male-saturated industry. Yes. You know, those guys, <laughs> they make it hard. It's a hustle. It is. You know, so but how were you able to, you know, penetrate the industry uh, with your artists? Um, actually, what happened was um, my husband came to Nigeria one 2016 and okay. met the artist okay. so it was a natural transition we started talking we built a relationship mm -hmm. and so we've been in contact since 2016 so mm -hmm. we became more of a family mm -hmm. more than a, a working relationship mm -hmm. so I officially signed him 2020 last year okay. but okay. then the pandemic drove me out so I had to leave okay. so then we used that time for artist development and mm -hmm. recording okay. so this year we we're able to actually like launch and mm -hmm. Yeah. Really, mm. you know, break, you know, start our, our okay. thing. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. it, you didn't have any of that pressure, you know? There's that pressure because um, basically this artist's livelihood, this artist's future is, is in your hands, mm -hmm. you know? Um, it's not only for him. Mm. It's my own livelihood, too. For mm. me, too, because I have another yeah. career. I have kids yeah. that I'm leaving. I'm mm. leaving my whole life. So it's mm. do or die for everybody. <laughs> I have to make it. He yeah. has to make it. So mm -hmm. the whole team have that same mentality. Yeah. We all have to make it. So mm. I understand the pressure is more on me. So I have the direction. I have the vision. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we collaborate so we can all push it full force to mm. accomplish our aim. Yes. Yeah. Right. So how do you do with funding? I mean, some, some record labels have investors. Are you right. self-funded or... Do you have you um, partners with, um, partnership with other people? Well, for right now, um, I have partners, okay. and I also fund also because well. it's something I've been wanting to do. It's something I've been mm. working towards for a long time. Okay. So yeah. Mm. So what's the projection like for mm. Do or Die? Now, what are you looking at? You have one artist now. Mm. Are you yes. looking to sign up another, or you want to build one? Oh, at definitely. Time? Like I want to sign more, of course. Mm. Okay. But I, right now, you know what the whole Corona situation is. Yeah. So. It's not much you can really do, mm -hmm. so I feel like it, it would be doing a disservice to people for me to just sign them on and mm -hmm. not really have mm -hmm. no shows or mm -hmm. nothing really going on. So mm -hmm. I just feel like right now it only makes sense for me to focus more mm -hmm. on the one artist, mm -hmm. and as things progress and things open up, then we can look into adding right. more people on. Yes. All right. So I, I can't wait to see. So I know that we you have uh, an artist called The Great. Yes, The Great. So you want to tell us a bit about The Great and how he came on board? Yes. Yeah, so it was more like um, my husband, like I said, he came to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. He met a couple of artists mm -hmm. and he was one of the people he met. Mm -hmm. And then he introduced me to him. And then after we built a relationship. Mm -hmm. So it became more of like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. It wasn't even more like work. It became more like, okay, somebody he could call me for advice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we built that relationship, and then okay. that's when we signed him last year. So we've been in a relationship for over like five years. So okay. it's... So you you never thought, oh, okay, let's. What about female artists? You know, because there, there's this whole women's right. movement happening now. Right. Do, are you thinking of bringing females into? into oh, definitely, living? definitely. Because okay. like you said, this is mm -hmm. a male dominated, and women usually don't get the fair chance. So yeah. I'm definitely mm -hmm. looking to work with female. But like I said, this was more of a, like a natural mm -hmm. um, thing that happened with the you know mm -hmm. with the artist. So it was just 
happen to be a male, so I mean, I'm willing to work with everybody, so it's not like, but yeah, I'm for the women too, so yeah, definitely, it's going to be a natural progression, yes. Okay. So now, in this, in the music industry, there's so much competition, and there's this thing of how a song can just come out and just blow, right. so to speak. So now, what are your plans for your artist instead of, in, instead of um, uh, positioning, right. uh, po positioning to put him out there? Mm. Are you looking to get him to collaborate with um, known artists, mm. or are you looking to him to have EPs, singles, or mm. albums? What are you looking to do? Um, right now, I just feel like, for me, I feel like um, my artist, I just want him to be himself, bring okay. his own sound, and let people see him for himself. So okay. I want him to actually just, you know, for people to know who he is, and then eventually, um, collaboration is a, you know, okay. is a giveaway. You have mm. to do it, because that's just like, you work in the industry, you have to work with your co-workers. Work so yeah. that's a natural progression, but as, right now, I just feel like he should just bring, be himself, let people know him for himself, and then after that he could collaborate with other people, and then <laughs> albums. <laughs> yes. So I want to touch on the fact that, that you, you're, you're, you're a mom. Yes. So balancing having a family <laughs> and, you know, working in an industry like this. Right. Have you had any reservations? How have you been able to handle it? Um, it's been, you know, it's always hard as a mother to mm -hmm. leave your kids and do things. Mm -hmm. But my kids are at the age where they are old enough, so they're not so young, mm -hmm. but okay. they're not too old. Mm -hmm. And also I have a great family who always help me. Mm -hmm. And thanks to technology, you can always FaceTime them. So yeah. it's like almost like you're not missing a beat. So okay. I'm really happy about that. But, you know, it's always hard. But mm -hmm. you also have to know that this is mm -hmm. something you're doing for them as well. Mm -hmm. So eventually they'll understand why you had to leave. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. yes. All right then. <laughs> so I, I see, like, I, I, I can already see great things. I can already feel it because I, I, you know, I went online to check out um, your artists and um, right. what you've been working on. Um, being a, a woman in that industry makes me feel good. You know, makes <laughs> yeah. me feel good. Makes yes. me feel like because <laughs> I've had artists come to meet me and say, you know, they don't want to work with a guy because right. of certain reasons. Yeah, yeah, you know? definitely. Um, and you know, it, it does feel like um, a stretch sometimes. When, so, how do you get people to trust you that hey, I'm going to take this artist to the next level? Um, mm -hmm. People trust me because, like, pretty much I, whatever I tell you I want to do, I mm. deliver. Mm. So once you are consistent with your word and they mm. see what follows what you say, people eventually, I mean, at first, everybody's always skeptical. Like, mm -hmm. when they see you, mm. they're kind of skeptical, mm. like, okay, what is she doing? Mm. But I don't really, I just let my work speak for itself, and then mm. eventually they become believers. So okay. I will just continue to let my work speak for itself. All right. All right. <laughs> um, apart from your work, there's something that is definitely speaking, and that's breakfast that we have for you. Yeah, oh. Yeah, in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Yes. So I hope you came with a huge appetite. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Okay. I'm willing to try anything You're gonna like try? Okay, yes. so let's have you. Go come right. with us to the All kitchen. Right. Okay. Um, so uh, this I'll stay right here. But you All right. Yes. yes. Have a bite. Ooh. So you're going to sit here. Welcome to the kitchen. Yeah. Welcome to the kitchen. Good morning. This is Hope Chef Abimola this yes. morning. Yes. She has made chicken and pasta stuff. Oh. Ooh. Yes. My favorite pasta. Oh, oh yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So you have a taste while she tells us how she put this together. Yeah. Okay. Abimola, over to you. Yes, please. At first, we boil the spaghetti. Okay. Yes. You leave it to simmer for some minutes. Mm -hmm. Don't let it to be too soft and don't let it to be too hard. So you shift that aside. Okay. You shift it aside. <laughs> and then you put it aside. <laughs> then you put your uh, pot on the heater. On the heater, then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very pot. good. Very good. Yes, yeah, it's very so good. So, on a rating of 1 to 10? Definitely a 10. Ah, oh, nice. just a 10. Definitely. Well done, Abimbala. Yeah. Um, thank you. I mean, um, please, it's all yours. So it's all oh, yours. Enjoy. Oh, oh it. okay. <laughs> thank you, Abimbala. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank we definitely you very wish you all the best me. with your thank you. record label. And of course, it's been another amazing edition of Wonder Woman Wednesday. Titi, who runs the world? Titi, who runs the world? Girls, let's go. <laughs> All right, then we will be back tomorrow, same time, 7 a.m. to 8.45. Until then, we love you. Bye -bye. Your view is next. Bye. Bye.